Hey everyone, it's Jen Sheffer, and I am super excited to show you a new activity option in Nearpod for the 21-22 school year that I think you and your students are really going to love. So if you go into your Nearpod library and you click on the Create drop-down menu, you're going to click on Lesson. And from there, you can click on Add Content and Activities. In the Activities tab, you're going to see right next to Time to Climb the new drag and drop. So when we click on this, just like all the other Nearpod tools, this is extremely intuitive for you as a teacher. So you will select a drag and drop activity. You can click on images right here. You can click on add images, search them in Google or upload your own images if you've saved them to your computer. And the images are going to appear in this gray space right here on the left once you've added those images. You can then enter your question here, which is optional. You have up to a thousand characters for that question. And then you can click here down at the bottom where it says add background. You can click on there. You can use the blank background. You can upload a custom image for your background. Or you can see here they have some templates a T-shaped, an equals, a three, and a four columns background. So just to show you what one of these uh, drag and drop activities looks like when it's completed, if I click on this little arrow here on the, on the right-hand side, you'll see that I can search for drag and drop activities that are already in the library, um, or I can just quickly go through and look at what is here. And let's just say, I'm doing a uh, science activity and I wanna do a sorting activity with my students. I come over here and then this is what it looks like. And if I click this little arrow here, I can see what that completed um, template looks like. And then my students, once I launch this lesson, whether it's in a live mode or it's student paced, the students on their iPad will just simply drag and drop drop the um, animals into the appropriate column. So that's an example of a completed drag and drop. It's already done for you, which I love about Nearpod. It's one of the things I love about Nearpod. There's so many existing activities and drag and drop is um, something that teachers were asking for. Nearpod responded with um, this feature now that we all have access to here in Burlington. and. I hope you take full advantage of it. Um, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please let me know and I hope you find this helpful.